Hello. How are you? It's me again. Monday, week 15. Oh my God, we have gone so far together. Together, we have done so much and you have achieved so much. Well done. Last week, you have done your on-site assessments, which went pretty smoothly, I heard, from all the classes and all the teachers. So well done. And this week, um, you will be working on your writing assessment, which you have two weeks. Um, some time of it has already passed. I'm sure that you have started doing some research into charities, um, trying to make up your mind, etc. And you uh, will have sessions with your teachers. Um, you can ask questions about uh, this assessment as well. And we have one more assessment this week, which is the listening assessment. Again, it will be about the same topics as usual we did volunteering we did some charities and ngos and etc so today i have prepared you a very good document and an assignment which i will be sharing with you right now let me make this a little bit bigger so that you can read it so i have prepared um reading and listening and um if you have time, of course, a writing activity, which might take uh, for you like three to four hours to complete. But hey, this was the amount of time you committed yourself to improve your English, right? So you can't complain. Okay, so let me go over this document to you. You will find this document with this video, but let me go over it. So we will talk about, again, charities, but this time we will talk about also individuals who made a difference. You know, making a difference means that you do something for the good. You want to change the world. If we were in the class, we would be able to use our book. Remember? Uh, let me show you uh, this one, the listening one, I guess. Uh, bear with me. Okay, so we would be using this book, of course, our Pathways Listening, but unfortunately, we can't because we're doing this online, and we would be using this unit, Making a Difference. Okay, so um, instead of the activities here, I searched up online and I found really good resources where we can actually learn about this topic. Okay, so um, the first article I put down um is about philanthropy okay so you will read the definition of this concept and also read about some famous philanthropists let me change this okay see uh the perks of using google docs is they correct your grammar mistakes okay so this article is about rich people doing good for the others okay they they donate a lot of money they spend a lot of time working for charity organizations that's why they are called philanthropists okay so this article um it should take for you about 30 minutes to read okay but hey you don't have to be super rich to make a difference there are individuals regular individuals just like you and me okay uh who did stuff to make a difference okay so this article is about this is an interview about a book actually uh which um examines regular people who change the world okay so this is a slightly longer article so that's why i suggested maybe about 50 minutes you can um read this article okay and also um read about some famous charity workers, people who helped others to lead better lives. And there are like famous people like Mother Teresa or um, Bill Gates and etc. So this is, again, another uh, article from Biography Online. You can just spend 20 minutes. You can just scan through those people. But hey, if you're interested, don't hesitate to dig in and spend some more time. 
Okay, uh, there's a listening activity which I really, really want you to do. Okay, uh, this is about something else, a different concept. We always talked about NGOs and charity organizations, which are usually non-profit organizations. Well, there are other ways to make a difference as well. well so you can still earn a living and help other people. So investors can do both they can earn money and then help people so this is about that concept and there is a again an interview uh, from a very good resource npr which you can find lots of other listening activities too this is very important the transcript is there too so that's why it can be either a listening or reading activity the listening interview is about 30 minutes long so you can listen it uh, one time without looking at the script, just listen, take notes to improve your note taking skills. And for the second listening, what you can do is you can listen and read at the same time. This is also a very good uh, activity to improve your English. OK, so that's why I put one hour. It's not an hour length of a, uh, an audio. It's half an hour. But I suggest listen it twice. And then. I want you to write a reflection, okay? This is not an essay, a formal essay, don't worry. Just scribble something, what you have learned reading or listening to those articles, okay? This is very important because when you read and listen, you are using your receptive skills. So you're receiving the language, but we learn better when we produce the language. OK, so writing is a very good way to produce. The other one is, of course, the speaking. But uh, in the online communication, uh, writing becomes more important. So we want you to write very briefly a paragraph, two paragraphs, however long you want it to be. OK, it's up to you. And of course, your teacher, your teachers might say don't write 500 words because we don't have time to read all. But please do write something. Type it in here and then submit this document. So this is um, it from me today. And I hope that uh, you do these activities, especially the listening one, because this week you will have to work on your writing, which is on charity. And also you will have a listening assessment, which is on this topic. Okay, please, please do those activities and good luck.